Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this week's five minute Sunday school. One of the wonderful things I get to do as a priest is to baptise people. And I love baptisms. Baptisms for all ages, whether they are adults or children or babies or, or whatever age. I love taking baptisms. Sometimes people ask me when they want to organise a baptism, how much does it cost? And I love being able to say nothing. Baptisms are absolutely free. There is no charge at all. Because when we baptise someone, we're reflecting God's love with no strings attached, pure and simple, God's love for each and every person that he has created. The other thing I love about taking baptisms is pointing out the beautiful window we have at St John's above the font, which is where we have our baptisms. You're probably familiar with it, but here it is again, just in case. What I love about this window is that it shows us Jesus at his baptism with the dove coming down upon him. And I love it because it connects us and our baptisms with him. We only baptise people because Jesus was baptised first. So it makes us have a real connection with him as we welcome everybody into his church, his family, sometimes we say his body. So let's just hear about Jesus' baptism. Jesus came from Nazareth to the province of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. As soon as Jesus came up out of the water, he saw heaven opened and the spirit coming down on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved child in whom I delight. So when we are baptised, God's voice says that to us too, just as it did to Jesus. You are my beloved child in whom I delight. Isn't that wonderful? It's so positive and exciting and just something great for us to receive from God. God's grace, God's love, God's Holy Spirit in this very special way. Some of you will have baptism candles like this, which have the dove on. Can't see it very well in this, can you? Anyway, there you go. Take my word for it. The dove is there. So I thought we'd just um, make a quick dove, a quick and easy craft, and then we'll light our candle. So this is what you need. A piece of paper, pencil, yellow pen, black pen and some scissors. Right. And all you do, very simple. I'm sure many of you have done this plenty of times before is draw around your hand, but make your fingers fairly close to each other and make sure that your thumb and your index finger are like an L shape. And then very quickly and easily, you draw around. I'm having to draw with my left hand and I'm not used to that, so it might be a little bit wiggly. And of course, you can't do the bit where your wrist is, otherwise you'd have to draw around your whole body. So we'll stop there and we'll just make this slightly rounder here. And we're going to make a little beak here. So there we go. We can see now that's a dove. So we colour in the yellow beak. sure that doves have yellow beaks do they no they probably do most birds do and then a nice little eye here nice little eye and then very quickly and easily just cut it out 
don't need to watch me cutting it all out, I shall jump. There you have your dove. You might want to leave it like that. Oh, look, look at how the light's shining. It's almost like a little special spiritual moment there. <laughs> God's light shines there. Um, you could write on it. You could write those words that Jesus hears, that we hear too. You are my beloved child and you could stick it on the fridge or I was thinking that you could with an adult's help put a thread through there and hang it perhaps above your bedroom door so that every time you go in you are reminded as the dove flutters above your head that you are God's beloved child so just to end, we're going to light a candle now. So let's light our baptism candle. I hope you light your baptism candle sometimes. Dear God, we thank you for your spirit your love, your grace, for us, your children. Help us to follow you and your light as you light our path through this life. <laughs>